All right, we're now on to my personal favorite fe- set of features for Studio One Six. And as a songwriter, these are fantastic, and they are a wonderful addition to Studio One. And uh, the great thing is, is that this particular set of features is also completely interactive with Notion as well, which I'm particularly excited about because I love Notion. I've been using Notion since about 2016, and it's awesome that you can enter lyrics into Notion. That's always been awesome. But now you can enter lyrics into Studio One as well. And uh, I have been wanting this for a very long time, and I'm glad that we now finally have it. As you can see up here in the global visibility, there is a lyrics track, which is fantastic. You'll also notice that there is the video track there as well, which is something equally fantastic in my personal opinion. Um, And as I said, there's going to be a separate standalone video that will do uh, an overview of the video track and the video track features because um, it's really, really cool. And I want to keep that separate and be able to go into that in a little bit more depth than I could do here in this video. Um, But the lyrics track is fantastic. As you can see, I have it added here in my song and it looks like a bunch of words are kind of all jumbled up. But basically what I did to get these lyrics in here I could have just typed them in and I could have just lined them up, which you can do in the lyrics track. You can just type them in and line them up where you want them uh, so that they are in sync with your vocal track for your song. You can certainly do that. Or if you already have existing lyrics, then you can uh, basically um, copy and paste them directly into this lyrics track They'll all be a bit bunched up when you do that. And then what you'll need to do is just listen through your song and just move each phrase to where it, where each line needs to be. And then you can just drag and drop that line in the lyrics track until you've completed your whole song, which is um, what I have done here with this song. It didn't take me more than about five minutes to complete for this song. If your songs are longer than mine, then it might take you a little bit longer. Um, you know, if you're the kind of person that that writes kind of Bob Dylan kind of opuses, then yeah, it will take you a little bit longer. But this is just a very simple, um, song with a couple of verses and a chorus. So it was dead easy to line up, but we don't just have a lyrics track. We also have a lyrics display so that you can, uh, you can see your lyrics. And if you want to uh, perform your vocals or do a fresh vocal take, and you want to be reminded of your lyrics, then you can certainly do that. So if we go to the view menu here, you'll see this option that says lyrics display. And when I click this, this fantastic box opens up, um, which is awesome. I love this feature. And the cool thing here is you can uh, you can resize this. Um, so let's make it let's make it that big for now. And you can also click this uh, window here. If you click this wrench tool, there's this ahead thing. And that basically means that the line is going to light up in blue just ahead of when you need to sing it. You can either have it so that it happens exactly in sync, um, providing you've moved the lyrics around on the uh, lyrics track to get them so that, oops, so to get them so that they are in sync. Uh, in this particular case, it sets it in quarter notes. So I've set this so that um, a quarter note before the line, the line goes blue. You can change the alignment. So at the moment, I've got it centered, but you could have it set on the left uh, if you want to do that. You can also change the font size. So I've set this to quite large because when I am recording this, I will probably be standing much further back. Uh, You can expand this to whatever size you want, and then you can adjust the box until um, they kind of fit. Cool thing is, is that these will auto scroll as you're going through the song. 
so you don't have to keep reaching for your mouse as you're doing your performance uh, to get the lyrics to scroll up. It does it by itself. If we click this pencil tool, which is the edit mode, a couple of things happen. Number one, there is a ruler, which is set in bars. And you can see exactly where each line is going to appear and which bar number it's going to appear. And you can move individual words. You can correct spelling mistakes. You can move individual words so that they land on a particular beat in the bar. And the grid is set to quarter notes at the moment. Or you can set it to 30 seconds, 16th, or you can set it to bars or note events. Uh, and I'll explain the note events bit in just a minute. Um, or you can turn the grid off entirely and just enter your text here or adjust your text here. So what I want to do is I want to turn that off and I want to keep this in this centered mode because when I look at lyrics, I like to look at it in poetry form, which is what I've got set here. So I'm going to play a little bit of this song. This is um, called Dig Myself a Hole, which I released as a single um, about three years ago. Um, and it's a fun little um, kind of shuffle blues song. But watch what happens to the lyrics uh, as we go through this song. Holding all the words, cards I feel two feet tall I'll stand and shout, no holding back Do or die, gonna dig myself a hole Oh, do or die, gonna dig myself a hole And I'm never falling back. All right, I think you get the idea. As you can see, um, by following that, when you are about to sing a line, it's blue. And then when that line is done, it goes gray. And otherwise, they are white, like they are now. And then they turn blue as necessary. And you did see a little bit of how it scrolls which is incredibly useful for when you are uh, recording a vocal and you want to get this, um, you want to get a really good performance, you want to know when you need to sing the next line and all of that. So this is a very, very cool, exciting feature, but we're not quite done with lyrics just yet because if I go over to the tracks preset demo song again, I've added a presence instance here and I've just entered some notes in relatively at random and if I open this automation track here you can see that we have velocity note control we've got all the things that we're used to seeing but we've also got this lyrics option here which is very very exciting so I can um, enter some lyrics into this here by selecting this note here and then you double click and I could say something like, I'm just improvising these lyrics, by the way. So I can say I, and then I can go space, and that takes me on to the next note. I can go, um, hang on, A, M for am, and then space. Here, hang on, I think that added an extra H. Here, space. And I can say four and then you. And I pressed an extra space. I didn't want to do that. And I've made a mistake there. As you can see, that's fine. I can tidy that up. There we go. And now I have 
all my lyrics in the note editor. So that is very, very exciting as well. One thing I've not checked is whether those actually appear in the lyrics track, which they don't. That's interesting to note. They don't actually appear in the lyrics track. Um, that's interesting. I did not know that. So, uh, so there we go. So you can now enter lyrics into the note editor. Um, and they will also appear, as you can see, in the score editor. I am here for you. Slightly funky rhythm, but we'll not worry about that too terribly much. All right, so there we go. That is lyrics in Studio One Six.